Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at how to bring in a Excel or a uh, text file into both ArcGIS Explorer Desktop or ArcGIS 10. There will often be uh, times when you're in the field and you're collecting data and you're writing down the actual coordinates. So for instance you've got your your Excel file and uh, you've got your X coordinates and your Y coordinates lat long. Uh, you've got record numbers and you've entered comments on what each say campsite is. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the cells are formatted as numbers otherwise ArcGIS 10 won't recognize them um, although Arc Explorer um, will. But in any event you want to go into Excel and change the columns to number format. And then uh, we'll get out of that and we'll go into Explorer and when you go to add content you add them as a text file. And obviously navigate to the file and it'll show up as uh, XLS extension, but you can also do CSV and TXT if you have them as uh, uh, columns uh, separated by something. And in this case, uh, an Excel file comes with two uh, data sheets, so we're choosing the file itself. And I've already done this, so uh, it's asking if I want to use the same parameters. Uh, these are comma separated in the header. So um, you choose comma as the separator and the first top uh, line of cells has the uh, names of each field, so ID, X coordinate, Y coordinate, etc. And so you choose that to say that uh, that'll determine the field names. And then um, you choose which, which uh, field corresponds to the X coordinates and the Y coordinates. Uh, X is longitude, Y is latitude. And then you choose a coordinate system uh, that the coordinates are in. And in this case, it's UTM zone 11 north. So you got everything set up. There's no elevation field, so you don't have to worry about that and nothing else. So just click Finish. And it automatically zooms in on the on the data, and in this case, it's um, scattered water sample pipe, uh, water sample sites uh, throughout Yosemite, and uh, those pins are a little weird, so uh, I'm just going to change it to a two-dimensional pin. So you highlight them all. You can do this all at once. Go to symbol. scroll down and find a better symbol. Uh, you can also of course import symbols but that's that's another lesson so let's just choose this little orange ball and there you go. So now let's do the same thing in ArcGIS 10 and so uh, for that you navigate uh, using your catalog window to the same folder and in this case it's my personal DBF file of strange assorted data. And once again navigate to the to the Excel file you want to bring in and just click on it and drag it over. As soon as I find it here, there we go. And the important thing to remember is uh, this is just a table you've brought in. It, you haven't yet added geospatial information. So now you right click and you go to the display XY and because it's a number field it recognizes that you have the X coordinates and the Y coordinates and so you match those up to the correct lat long and then again assign a coordinate system to it and it shows up. Um, but this is still not a uh, 
a permanent file so you, it's an events file and so what you want to do is now export the data and it'll export as a shape file and so you want to export all features although you can highlight um, and just export some and you want to use the coordinate system you've already assigned uh, but you could use that of the data frame either one but they're both the same in this case then you give it a name and notice that it has the SHP extension for a shapefile just click OK and then it asks you if you want to add it to your table of contents and you do and with any luck at all you have the two data types on top of each other and they'll match up perfectly so you just put the one over the other and there you go I'll highlight it in yellow here just to show you and there you go that's how you bring a uh, a text uh, or Excel uh, and create a shapefile from hand-drawn notes uh, from the field.